What's up everybody? It's your girl Jazz. Today I am going to check out the Atmo Atmo 2. I'm not sure how you pronounce it. Is it Atmo or Atmo? I'm gonna go with Atmo because of my atmosphere. That would make sense. <laughs> so the Atmo tube and it measures air pollution. So a little bit about it. Let's see. It does real-time constant monitors the environment around you, accurately measuring humidity, temperature, a wide range of volatile organic compounds, which also is VOC, and harmful gases like carbon monoxide. Oh, didn't know that. That's good to know. Have you heard? Have you seen the news where like people are, you know, unfortunately passing away while they're asleep or something like that for a, a monoxide leak? Yeah, this will definitely be worth having. <laughs> Especially since they don't have any smells or anything like that, which, yeah, not even, I, I'm able to smell them. And I've got a pretty good nose. <laughs> it comes with an, uh, let me see, where's my phone? Here it is. So there is an app for it. Have I already downloaded it? I don't know. Can I unlock my phone? Yes, I can. Okay. So I have already downloaded it. And let's see. All right, so I've got that. Um, let's see some other great information about it. Let's see. It's portable and wearable for per, for truly personal and most affordable and most compact air quality tracker, which you can always take with you. So that way, if people are polluting your air, you can tell them, hey, look, my device tells me you stink and you're bad for me. Go away. <laughs> okay, maybe not in those mean terms. <laughs> Uh, let's see. All right. Let's actually see what the device looks like. That's it. I was thinking a little bit something more flashy. <laughs> Maybe that's just me. Something I would design. Just kind of extravagant to be out there. But, I mean, I, I guess it's cool for something so simple. <laughs> All right. Oh, it also alerts you every time the air is not safe. Helps you to make the right decision every day and live healthier and take care of you and your loved ones. So I'm thinking some people like myself that have asthma and, you know, I don't know about you, but I've had people tell me that I exaggerate and, you know, if I can't breathe, something like that. I got proof now. I can say, hey, look, this device tells me I'm not in good area. I need to go away. Or like I said, just tell people, hey, look, this says go away. <laughs> so let's see, anything else I could tell you about this? Oh, I got to charge it. All right, guys. So um, I think that's pretty much it. It just kind of tells you about the different air, you know, the air, if, there, if it's good for you, bad for you. Let's see, does it have ranking here? How does it tell you? So it goes, it measures it up to 100. So I guess the higher the number is. Let's see the air quality. Oh, it gives you a little map of where your area is. It gives you a history of it. Um, let's see, outdoor air quality info. Let's see what it is. So if it's between 100 and 81, you get some really good air. If it's between 80 and 61, it's not as great, but it's, you know, moderate. It's livable. Um, let's see. So, I'm sorry. Let me go back to 180, which is good. The air quality is considered satisfactory and air pollution possesses little or no risk. Between 80 and 61, it's moderate. You know, eh. Air quality is acceptable. However, for some pollutants, there may be a moderate concern for a small number of people who are very sensitive to air pollution. So, I'm guessing like 180 is probably like out in the country where, you know, you get more air that... The air is just so much better out there. Although you got to do it with bugs. That's where I have an issue with. <laughs> uh, moderate, um, I probably would guess, probably in the house, I would hope. And that's kind of moderate. It's not going to be 100%, or maybe it might be pretty good. I don't know. We're going to see it with this test out. Uh, between 60 and 41, it is polluted. The air quality level is poor. You may begin to experience symptoms such as coughing and throat irritation. <coughs> yeah, uh, I, I think it might be polluted in here. Oh, wait, sorry. That's just my dog's gas. <laughs> I wonder if that picks up on here. I got to charge this. We'll see. Uh, the pollution may cause breathing discomfort on prolonged exposure and discomfort to people with heart disease or asthma. That includes me. 
<laughs> I can legitimately tell people I need to get out of here. All right, try to avoid staying in this environment for long periods of time. Between 40 and 21, it is very polluted. My guess is probably on any highway, especially during rush hour. Uh, the air quality is very poor. It may cause respiratory illness in people on prolonged exposure. Effects may be more pronounced in people with asthma, lung, and heart disease, adults and children with lung problems, and adults with heart problems should reduce strenuous physical exertion. Ooh, ha, I got a reason not to exercise when it's between this area. Yes! <laughs> so people with asthma may find they need to use their rescue inhaler more often. Older people should also reduce physical exertion. So I guess if you're healthy and young, then you really ain't got nothing to worry about. Because <laughs> that's what it says. It says if you have health problems, then of course you need to... Uh, uh, where it says should reduce strenuous activity and people with asthma such as myself or older people so just a heads up <laughs> between 20 to 0 who I do not want to be in this area it is severely polluted the air pollution is severe at this level it may be necessary to take emergency measures for patients and members of sensitive groups and there and there can be harmful impacts on general public the health impacts may be experienced even during light physical activity. Healthy people may experience adverse symptoms. See, now they include healthy people. All right, so this is information in regards to the VOC and the CO, which stands for vol uh, volatile organic compounds and carbon monoxide. I'm gonna leave that up there so that way you guys can read it for yourself. Uh, if it ranges between, actually, you know what? Let me see. Um, it ranges between 0 and 5.5 ppm. I'm guessing that's parts per milliliter, I think is what it stands for. Is that meters? All right, so now that I've, you know, given a little bit of breakdown, it's time for me to go on a little bit of an adventure with this. And let's see if it works and how well it works. All right, so uh, ironically enough, I'm testing out my... Atmo, Atmo, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, um, ATMO tube. I'm just calling it Atmo, my Atmo tube. Ironically enough, I, I wasn't sure. I'm in the car, obviously, <laughs> and I'm at the farmer's market, and I wasn't sure, you know, if having the car on versus off is going to make a difference on the air pollution, and ironically enough, the air pollution is worse when the car is off. Um, it dropped down right now. It's sitting at 43. So not very pretty. All right. We're going to turn the car on. So you might hear some buzzing sound and see if it actually affects it again. All right. So we're going to retest it by pushing the button and see what happens. All right. So the pol uh, pollution count actually went down or the number went up, however you want to look at it, um, to 52. So obviously something in the car is filtering the pollution out and it's keeping me healthier. Go figure. <laughs> All right, we're gonna walk around the farmer's market and test it out in a couple of different spots to see how the pollution is, including a nursery. So we're gonna see if plants really do help the, the pollution out and everything like that. So we're gonna go test it out. All right, so I've got my Endua Cool and my Battle Vision as I'm walking around the farmer's market. So we're gonna test it out here real quick, see what the air quality is. Also, I did a review on these two if you want to check them out. They're already posted. We're going to check this out. The air quality out here. Not too bad. 66. All right, we're also going to go to the nursery next. Let's go. So, it's saying right now it's 59, but I think it takes a minute to kind of adjust because there it goes. Suggesting to 61 now. So, it's getting better. I'm guessing there's still quite a bit of cars around in here, so maybe that's the reason why it's still kind of polluted a little bit. Oh, there it goes. Now it's 63. So I guess the closer I get to the plant, <laughs> the higher it's getting. So obviously the plants are doing something to help the pollution. I'm also going to test one last place in the back of my car. That might be highly polluted, so let's go check that one out. Alright guys, so I'm over here at a local dump. As you can see in the background right there. And so I've been running this air quality, the Atmo, to 
see what it is out here. Surprisingly enough, it's showing at a high 74 out of 100. So, let's do the car real quick. We're into the car. Alright guys, so I'm going to test it back. I see it's fluctuating about 60, 61 right here where I'm at right now. I have my car running and we're going to test it. Let's see how crazy it can get. Ooh, that's hot. on this side yes that side's more powerful this side's a 35 doing it right here is about 61 to 69 so i'm thinking this thing may work <laughs> i need to keep it around so i can know where i need to avoid but i'm going to go ahead and go to the studio show you a little screenshots of what's going on and wrap up this video what a fun adventure that was wasn't it <laughs> All right, so as you can see, depending on where you are is going to affect on how well this reads. I'm guessing it works. I don't know about you. Some of the places I was a little bit more surprised on how well the air was. Um, some places I was like, oh, okay, that's a lot healthier than I thought it was. <laughs> so um, definitely worth grabbing one of these. Like I said, I've, I've sadly read stories about people sleeping and something busted and monoxide poisoning has happened. All you got to do is charge this thing. It'd be probably a great thing to have. I would strongly suggest it. Um, not bad for a hundred bucks. I mean, it's, it's small, it's sleek. Have it in your room. Sleep peacefully every single night as long as it's charged. <laughs> so I definitely recommend one of these. Um, definitely going to keep this around me, like I said, um, especially some people that have asthma and things like that, 100% free. Um, if you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer. If you have any suggestions on anything else I should review, I'll be more than happy to add to my list. In the meantime, stay tuned and stay jazzy. Thanks, guys.